a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a complete disaster clean with me and also an after sick clean with me. We've been quite under the weather and I had a lot of cluttering, decluttering, cleaning and organizing to catch up on. I tackled a lot of different areas, a lot of neglected spaces and got some deep cleaning done which felt really good and I was also disinfecting and organizing everything as well. We also got hit with a super big snowstorm once again. If you've been following me my last one, we had about six feet of snow and we got hit again with about three feet. So never a dull moment around here. I hope you are all doing well and this gives you the cleaning motivation you need to start tackling something. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. Hey you guys, how are you? I've missed talking to you even though it's only been about three days since I normally post, but I always love chatting with you guys and catching up and that's really kind of what this video is all about. Just kind of like a catch up clean with me after, you know, after being sick. So we have just been catching everything lately. I think everyone I talk to seems to be, um, catching every virus under the sun. So we are on the up and up, which felt really good. And I wanted to get into the holiday spirit, especially since we were feeling better. So I was just starting off in my bedroom here. I had a lot of just laundry that was everywhere that I needed to get put away. The decor was thrown all about and I just wanted to vacuum and sanitize everything. I really like to start in the bedroom when I feel overwhelmed. You know how it is after you're sick, like you just have so many little things that need to be tackled, especially around the house that just get away from you because when I'm not feeling well, I tend to just do the basics, you know, get the dishes done, get some laundry thrown in and rest otherwise because you're just not going to get better unless you slow down a bit. So I also wanted to say that, you know, if you're a busy mom during this time of the year, I have been so crazy busy. It's like a whole new th another level once, you know, the kids start school and you have all of these events and then throw in family life and, you know, friends and things that are having events. And after I wasn't feeling well and stuff, I got these super cute pajamas that I was wearing. Um, in this video from Target. I absolutely love this set. It actually came with, um, you know, the top, the bottoms and the socks as well for only $20. And I swear, like, just go do something for yourself. It can be the smallest thing, you know, even when you're super busy, just getting, you know, a new nail polish, a candle, a cute little outfit. Like it just makes you feel so uplifted. And sometimes that's exactly what I need. So I picked up that for myself and just a few little um, puzzles and cute painting sets that's for my daughter to play with and I felt so uplifted and ready to tackle this because I just was not motivated to clean and once I took a little bit of time for myself I was back to you know feeling like I'm ready to tackle it all busy as a mother right so um, I also got this adorable advent calendar it's a Pokemon advent calendar for Maddie I think actually John picked this one up and she absolutely adored this thing um, I think it's something that if your kids are into Pokemon that they would like even if you know after Christmas is done just because it, it's so it's super cute it's pretty substantial and they get to you know open a piece every day which is really nice for them and gives them something to look forward to um, every day I had about three different advent calendars and that was the more pricey one that we picked Picked out, but she absolutely adored that and it was taking over my desk area as you see. I'm always moving it back and forth, but I need to in the new year really focus on organizing and decluttering a lot of spaces and I also want to pick up a few more like kids type of tables just to put um, in the basement that I'm going to be adding a play area to and one of the upstairs bedrooms. It just makes things so much easier to put like larger play pieces on for the kids. 
So, you know, it's on my list. And as you can see, moving into this living room, it was just a total mess. Like I said, I wasn't taking care of things, um, just relaxing on the couch as much as possible. And I really needed to get um, the toys just decluttered and also sanitized. So in this um, portion of the video, I decided to first do all of the regular cleanup and then empty out the main toy bins that my daughter plays with daily and just sort through them there was so much i knew i could get rid of i'm definitely in that spirit of you know decluttering and throwing away giving away anything that my daughter isn't constantly using i know she's going to be getting a lot of new presents and gifts for the holidays so i wanted to sort through that all out so i just took a paper bag and put anything in there that I thought that um, some of my friends with younger kids might want to play with because it's amazing how they outgrow things and they get into new interests. So I'm just sorting through all of that before I start sanitizing and cleaning up the rest of my living room. <laughs> So after I got all of the bins organized, I decided to go through my TV stand here and just get rid of anything that she wasn't using and also trying to find spots for the remaining items that I took out of the bins. I really like to keep this area as a free-for-all space for her. She knows she can take anything out of there whenever she wants and I feel like they're just all, you know, safe pieces to play with and I like to rotate it a lot just so that they are pieces that she's consistently playing playing with um, and I know that she gets bored sometimes so I tend to change it out a lot to keep my life easier when I'm in meetings and things like that. I also just really wanted to sanitize everything on the tables and my couches. I ended up um, actually sanitizing the toys in the bins on a different day just because time got away from me. So I just sanitized what I could and that's always you know, real life and my tip to you, do what you can in the moment. Sometimes you can get more done than you think. And sometimes, you know, as a busy mom, we get interrupted. So that's okay. I was just moving on to vacuuming before moving into my messy kitchen. It's also funny because since we weren't feeling so well, I ended up giving Maddie a few Christmas gifts earlier, like that Chelsea truck that I had in my gift guide. <laughs> and it all started with John. I swear he's such a sap and, you know, she has him wrapped around her little finger because when she wasn't feeling well, she just said, Daddy, can I have a present? He was like, sure absolutely so i'm like okay if dad's giving one then i'm giving one too <laughs> so it was totally worth it i'm not the type of mom that is like too strict and i just want her to enjoy herself and it was also nice because it gave her something new to play with and gave mama a break 
And you guys, moving into this kitchen, it was such a hot mess. Sometimes I feel like it's even hard to show just how grimy things get, but everything was all over the counters. My sink was just so gross and neglected from being deep cleaned. And when you have a white sink like this, it just really needs to be cleaned almost daily. Um, but I got this amazing um, scrub brush that spins around um, by Black & Decker. I've used it before in my bathroom and I really wanted to use it with some soft scrub and I also just used a little bit of the Dawn dish soap on it and it worked like a charm and it was just so nice because as much as I love the scrub daddy um, sponges when I'm using any kind of bleach product I really you know I just don't like getting it on my hands because it's hard to get rid of that smell afterwards so I love using any kind of um, product with a handle on it and I just felt like this worked out so nice because I I didn't have to really push that hard or do that much work. I normally have to spend about, you know, 10 minutes really scrubbing this down and letting it sit um, in order to get it white again. But with this little um, scrub brush, it really did the work for me and it was seriously done in under three minutes. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time Being so serious, idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember all things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying It feels like I'm lying every time Someone asks how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember all things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up no, no, no. So another random tip I have for you, because I always find it funny, we get all of these gifts, right, for Christmas for our kids, and what do they love the most, right? Like boxes, remotes, like all the things that are just randomly around the house. So I had this one left over from a gift for Maddie, and she absolutely loved putting all of her things in it. She'll either put like Barbies in there and play with it, or all of her cards. And so I love giving her stuff like that because it also, you know, keeps the mess contained into one little area area in the kitchen and I, that way it's just a lot easier to clean up so this is real life I am just mopping my floors and just kicking the box away I wasn't going to get rid of it just for a pretty shot it's going to stay there probably on and off you know for the next month or two especially since we're in this really um, snowy winter season over here and I was so glad to be getting these floors cleaned they just had so much um, dirt salt snow mud absolutely everywhere. I was just using a mixture of some of 
the um, Mr. Clean with a little bit of the Mrs. Myers in the snowdrop scent. I absolutely love the smell of this combination. And of course, Molly was just sitting there in my way as he normally is, not even phased and not bothered, used to mommy cleaning around him. <laughs> And um, in the next clip, I decided to, I actually, this was actually funny. I had plans to do a whole second day um, uh, part of cleaning motivation. So I was starting out by deep cleaning my oven here. I was just using um, some of the Dawn Power Wash. That works really well with just a lot of water and elbow grease for me. But it was one of those days that my daughter ended up getting sick and I had to pick her up from school. So it was the only thing I could actually get done on this day. But you got to take the little wins as a mom sometimes. And we also got hit again with another huge snowstorm. We had about three feet of snow. So it was just a lot of of chaos of you know even just trying to go get my daughter John had to come home and snow plow the driveway but we ended up having just the most amazing time outside um, playing in the snow with her and um, luckily she wasn't too sick um, the next day to be able to go outside so I wanted to share some clips of that because there really is never a dull moment around here <laughs> right here ball snowball can make a snowman? You want to make a snowman? We can. Look how packed this is. Can I make a snowman? You want to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> can I pull a snowman, please? How do you build a snowman? <laughs> so Alright, let's see if we can take it out. Build a really big ball. The big ball. Yeah. The big one. I love your outfit. <laughs> she really is something else, isn't she? Look at her face just light up though. She was having such a blast and I just cherish these moments that we get to spend together as a family. Let me know your Christmas plans or holiday plans and what you guys are all doing. I can't even believe we're here. It doesn't even feel real to me that it's going to be Christmas in less than a few days. I hope that you guys are all staying sane and enjoy your holiday break with your kids and your family because that's what life is really all about. I will see you guys soon with some uh, new cleaning motivation next week and happy holidays, you guys. Mm -hmm.